Next award is the Activist Award. And this is a Democratic woman, non-paid volunteer, who has shown great dedication to Democratic ideals. The awardee is Clara Olson from West Branch. And she was nominated by Carol and Dave Bradley, who will be up here to introduce her. Clara for about three or four years. We met Clara during the 2006 election. At age 65 or so, Clara was making her first run at elective office. We met her at a meeting for another political candidate. Whoever this woman was, she was a dynamo. <laughs> when I found out it was Clara Olson, I immediately connected the name with many stories I have heard over the years of her exploits. She was one of the legendary women of Johnson County at the forefront of the women's movement locally. I cannot remember the stories I have heard of Clara. All I recall from my fringe view is that Clara was always mentioned in the same breath with such luminaries as Jean Lloyd-Jones, Manette Doderer, and Carol DePross. So Clara gets this award tonight, and Dave and Carol Bradley and their two lovely daughters, and all of the Iowa women. of Don's and other invited guests um, and elected officials. Um, as an activist award, the goal tonight is to do two things. First of all, to show you what an activist does, and secondly, to tell you why we do it. You have been given postcards. Got postcards? And they are addressed to Senator Chuck Grassley. So if you fill the postcard out, would you stand up and bring it over here? And if you haven't filled it out, we'll give you a minute to fill it out. And, or if you don't have the card yet, you can pick it up at this table. We want a hundred cards to go to Grassley out of this event. Right? Whatever you want to say. I have some examples here. Please support health care reform legislation. Just one sentence. Name and address is important. Uh, we need health care reform and we need you to support it. Now, of course, my favorite would be, we need you to release your medical records, including your mental competency exam. <laughs> um, so, who has the postcards yet? Okay, up here. And special thanks go to my sisters from Cedar County. Would you stand up? Okay. Uh, before you leave, we need a postcard with your name and address. The kind of thing that an activist does. Well, what do women want? Why do we do things like this? We want democracy. And we seek democracy where all persons are of equal value. One person, one vote. Our country, born in revolution, torn apart by civil war, and seduced by wealth seeking, needs the voices of women singing a song for democracy. It has been my honor to dance this dance for over 50 years. Dancing with women is fun. My first dance partner was Shirley Chisholm. And in those times, our dances soared with repressed yearnings for justice and respect 
and power. Many sisters became social men. I did for a time. We opened up the profession, but our dead sisters had done that in the 1920s. And Sholomo, Sholomo Firestone became a soothsayer. We had been at the bottom of the economic heap, and despite the glass being many times half full, we need always remember that the glass can still be half empty. Because by the 19, late 70s, the heap got bigger. More hunger-deprived women. More without education or decent housing. More dying from lack of health care. More undocumented, more damaged, more dying too young, like our mothers and our grandmothers did. And becoming more global as we compete with oppressed women everywhere. Our daughters are now dancing. That's a trip. And we should yearn to teach them the dance of the upraised fist, the dance of starting new institutions, or the dance I particularly love to dance, the dance of the union made. Give us bread, but give us roses. The dreams of common women are deep, deep dreams of humanity. And I want you all to yearn again, want it again, it is not done the stands for democracy. It has only begun again and again. And this time our vision, 50 years later perhaps, is deeper, broader, for we have born sons and met true brothers. Our social womanhood demands we stand together. Dancing alone in front of the mirror is for girlhood. We are women. We dance with partners. And our best, we dance to the music of our soul, never letting anyone's song go unsung. At our best, we are common women, working with and for all common folk, here, grounded in the beautiful land of Iowa. Thank you for your award. It makes me want to dance again.